All right, hey guys, welcome back in. So I'm coming back up from the Quartermaster because I just spent the past couple of minutes moving everyone's gear around, making sure everyone has the best possible gear that they can have, putting mods on stuff. So now that I believe the team is ready, we can continue exploring the galaxy a bit more, or the multiple galaxies actually. Because for right now, we have a lot of assignments that need to be cleared up. I just need to remember where they are. Okay. So we just took out one of Helena's ex-partners. And now we have to identify the other. Let me just double check all the planets in this system and make sure I didn't accidentally gloss over one. Okay, I think we're good for this system. All right, I'm gonna back out. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already done this system because I think this is where the Ontario was. All right, so this place next. We got a couple of things that we have to get cleared up for assignments that I need to actually go to the journal and see where all of them are because certain assignments I definitely want to have. Ooh, I can land here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. There are certain assignments that I want to have particular team members on, so I would like to know which planet has what assignment before we go, because obviously if we go to Hockey Nita, anything that's done with the biotics, I want Kate in there just for his insight. We have to find Rex's family armor, and then we also... Let's see, who do I want to bring? You know what, Kaden? This is your time to shine. And we also have to find Garrus's body snatcher, which is by far, I think he's that one's in the Kepler system. I could be wrong though. But that is by far one of the assignments that I'm looking the most forward to. Because I just love the idea that there are some body snatching, organ harvesting scientists out there that Garrus just has beef with. Ooh, a couple of things need to be done. Anomaly, research base, debris, anomaly. Okay, I'm gonna head to the far right and go to the anomaly first and then hit up the research base. That seems like the correct chain of events here. I assume I'm going in the right direction. So yeah, once we clear up this planet, I'm probably going to take a look at the journal really quick and note where all we have to go that we know there are assignments there. But I also kind of want to go in order as far as my exploration goes. But not another giant worm! Why are you here too? But yeah, I want to keep my exploration in order. That way I don't accidentally miss a system or a planet. Is it possible to upgrade the Mako? I would love to. Come on. I do know when those annoying little arms go up that it follows me, so I'm trying to go ahead and get it to raise its head like it's doing. Please die. Okay. I'm assuming it definitely doesn't die when it does that. It just gets upset with me and goes underground. Is this what I'm looking for? Has to be. Ancient debris. There are no signs of any survivors. The pod is empty except for a small tattered flag. Okay, so it's another Turian insignia. The journal also gives me a list of all of those little things that have to be found and collected throughout the galaxy. I know there's the insignias. The different Solarian scientists have their dog tags. And then um, the matriarch's writings are another one. I'm sure there's more that I'm forgetting. But I think those are the three that stand out the most to me. And the research base should be 
somewhere over this hill. Also, where I was talking to the quartermaster, I sold a lot of useless junk. So I'm very close to being able to afford the Spectre sniper rifle, which I'm very much interested in having. Okay. Where is everybody? Armor upgrades. Med kit. Nothing else. And a computer. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Guess we should head to the excavation site then. Well, if it's alien tech, I'm glad Liara's here. I don't know if she'll offer any intriguing insight, but... Happy she's here. And Caden's just tagging along. Because I have to get better about diversifying my team, even though I would really like to stick with Garrus at all times. And then just form a team around Garrus. Okay, just going to preemptively keep my gun out here. Anything around these corners? No. Definitely a couple of... Not the husk! I don't like them. Creepy. down. That's annoying. Oh, didn't mean to throw the second one, but it worked out. Oh, I can't shoot them when they're down. That is weird. So either this gun is weird or these husks are weird. Or my aim is just weird. That could also be the cause. Okay. Gonna come around the corner? No, you're just stuck. I have heard of this before. Whatever alien technology the survey team unearthed must have turned them into mindless fanatics, machine cultists. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. I hate the way Huss look. Oh, the tech is gone? This isn't it? I wonder where the tech they uncovered went then. That's a mystery I would like to solve. Oh god. Too many. Okay, there's one more still alive. That accounts for all of the survey team. They were converted to cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How could they, how come be buried on the frontier world as far from the Geth territory is a mystery or how they came to be buried? Okay. Oh, and there's the spiky things. So were they brainwashed into putting themselves on the spikes and that's how they became Huss? I also don't understand the transition from organic being to cybernetic that well. Because I remember seeing it on Eden Prime. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm sure there's some sci-fi reasoning there as to why it works. But I don't get how impaling someone turns them from an organic into a cybernetic. The codex might tell me, but if it's there, I didn't notice it the last time I looked. Uh, 
But there are plot devices to explain all, so I'm sure it's fine. It makes sense in some worldviews. What else do I need? I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything behind all these boxes. Take all of that, I'll sort through it later. Locked crate. Anything else before I get that one and leave? I don't think so. That's just something I could blow up. All right, more stuff I have to sort through when we get back topside. And whatever I don't need, we will immediately sell because I really want that rifle. Also, I'm sure the specter armor would be very helpful, but rifle, that's what's on my mind right now. I also need to try the rifle I'm using on something that wasn't those husks, because it was weird that I couldn't shoot them while they were down. I don't quite know if that's something wrong with my gun or just those particular enemies, or if I was doing something wrong. Okay. There was an anomaly and debris. Okay, I'm sort of in the right direction as far as heading forward goes. I think I just might have to veer off to the right. Nope, don't fall. Is there also some type of plot device that explains why I can't flip the Mako? Because I've nearly done it several times, but it always lands on its feet like a cat. It's very helpful, but also it's kind of just feels like a personal challenge at this point to see if you can flip the Mako. I also keep saying that I'm going to revisit all these planets and just drive around and find all the deposits I can. I keep putting it off. So that might be a... Please get out of the car. Okay. That might be a thing to do very soon. This device is transmitting tight beam signals to orbit. This disrupts the survey team's GPS satellites, causing them to crash nearby. Okay. So were they drawn in here? to be turned into husk? Is that the game plan? Did something turn um, the signal jammers on so that people would accidentally crash here? Okay, as far as direction goes, I'm okay. I'm doing fine for right now. Get upright, please no more giant worms. And there are aliens, or enemies, over here. Because if anything, I am the alien in this situation. Ooh, scavengers. Face the wrath of my vehicle. It would be kind of hilarious if I could accidentally destroy things that I needed. Like this probe because I wasn't paying attention. Taking all of that, and I do believe that was the last marked thing on this planet. Yes, it was. And for the sake of exploration, I say we just go back to the Normandy and look at more places. And then very soon, probably when I'm done recording for this entire section, I will hit each planet that I know we can land on and go find debris. That way we can scan it for money. Okay. So that was Trevin. And now I need to check the other planets in this system. Hydrogen. More matriarch writings. Nothing. Check the perimeter. Uranium. Oh, there's a little planet hiding in the sun. 
but there's nothing on it, so it's fine. All right, I think we're good for here. And I'm 98% sure that this is the system that just has the Ontario on it, but I'd like to double check before I head out of here and completely write this system off as being explored. Yeah, okay, there's the Ontario. Let me check something really quick. Is there anything else that, what, what was that? Unknown. Okay, what can I do? Scan it, Rocky Asteroid. Ooh. Okay. Several small bodies orbiting it. A large deposit of magnesium. Okay. So now I have to check these two. Hold up. Just let me make sure I'm not missing anything right here. Okay. That just means I'm going to have to go back and double check that asteroid belt and other areas as well. So this was Hades Gamma. Next could either be Gemini Sigma or the Voyager Cluster. Argus Row. Because I feel like I've done the rest of these. Oh, I do need to check out the local cluster too because there's um, something going on with Earth's moon. I do remember getting that message. Okay, let me consult the journal really quick. As far as where we need to go. Uh, Krogan armor does not give me a where. All right, this is Garrus's scientist. Oh wait, if I press this button, it'll probably give me a where. Okay, so Argus Rogue Cluster, that's where Rex's armor is. And this is going to be in the Kepler Verge. That's on the moon. This is the Solarian Doctor that needs to run. It's also in the Kepler Verge. So I wonder if he's related to our Body Snatcher in any way. Uh, that's Presidium. Those are findings, findings, findings. No, this is also going back to the Citadel. Uh, gotta go see her. Okay, she's two crime lords. All right, so the last of Helena's quest is in the very next door system, the Gemini Sigma, so we might as well just head there. And then we're still looking for this guy's brother in the Horsehead Nebula Cluster, which isn't that where... I think we've already been there once, have we? Let me back out. Um, yeah, okay, so that's where Novaria was. Let's double check this system really quick because I easily could have missed that ship somewhere in a asteroid field, an asteroid belt. So I would like to double check that really quick before I forget it because likely we're just going to have to scan for the ship really quick. Okay, there's no asteroids here. It's probably, it's not gonna be here. Okay, let's back out and check the other system really quick. All right, I don't see anything here either. Wait, 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 wait. Scan. There she is. Faint trail of radioactive particles pop possibly exhaust from the sublight nuclear engine drive leads toward a nearby planet of Zawin. Okay. So we could check out Zawin. Oh, is this the planet I wanted to land at before and couldn't? Okay, that makes sense now. So let's go find this guy's brother. Hopefully he's still alive, because I'm getting tired of giving everybody bad news. And that just seems like the consistent theme. Alright. Let's bring Ash, and I want to balance this out, so I want a biotic. Uh, let's do Liara. i like to see if they interact at all.
All right, right off the bat, what does the map look like? Oh, there's already something at my side. So I'll just go ahead and check out whatever it is I'm seeing on the map. And then I'll open the map and look for more stuff. Ooh. Engine debris. Fragment appears to be from an old model freighter. Part of it's marked outpost and okay, it's another insignia. Ooh, several things. Okay, debris in that direction. Mercenary camp there. Anomaly. Abandoned camp. Anomaly. All right, so right in front of me is mercenary camp, I do believe. So let's just head out that way first, and then we'll hit the other small spots later. Is there a reason the side of that mountain is pink? Or was it just the way the lighting was? Might have been just the way the lighting was right then. Yeah, because it goes away once you get closer to it. Okay, I was really concerned that there were like mines or something. As we all know, I have bad experience with mines. Ooh, okay, right off the bat, they are already shooting. Wait, heavy alliance turret? What the heck is that? Take out these other turrets. I'm assuming when it says alliance, it means the human alliance. So I'd like to know where these turrets came from. Unless this is an alliance base and the mercenaries just took it over. Let's get out, get inside. I don't think the team would be here. It's probably just enemies. Okay, that's just something I can blow up. Oh, I saw a Krogan. Oh, and that man disappeared. Still not dead. Got a Krogan, I really don't like them. Their please do not heal. Let's accept death. Sir, please stop. Give the assault rifle a go. Or not. It never wants to switch. I always have to do it manually. The R1 button doesn't do it anymore for some reason, or it chooses when it wants to work. There's a better way to put it. Can I... Almost had it. Let's just make our way upstairs. Okay, that time it switched out. Okay, fairly simple. Taking all of this, once again, something to be sorting through later. Is that just something I could have blown up? I can focus on it, but I don't know why. Sorry, Liara. Same with this one. Unsure what that's about. Oh, no. 
You have discovered the corpse of Captain William of the Majesty. Stiff fingers are wrapped around a small data pad. Poor guy. I'm really just the relayer of bad news. Oh. I wish I could say those were difficult, but no. Sometimes they just catch me lacking and I'm just not paying attention. Which is somehow worse than it actually being difficult and then me messing up. Anything around these corners I want. I'll go grab that in a second. Okay. Um, nope. Take that, and nothing here besides that. Okay. I would have liked to have opened those lockers, but it wasn't in the cards for me. Yeah, so if the captain's here, could the rest of the crew be alive? Because there is a camp that I could go to, but I think it's an abandoned camp. I'll have to look on the map again. Because there were a couple of things to look at on this planet. Alright, map. So I could head back towards that anomaly. I'd have to move the Mako to see what direction it's going to be going in. Okay. I think we're going in the right direction. So we will go hit up those question marks and then that final other one in a second, the debris, I think it was. But first, I'm going to get this de Oh, that's a hole. I'm gonna get this deposit. Stop sliding. Thank you. Awesome. Ooh, 10,000 credits. Yeah, I definitely have to get on going to back to planets we've already been to. And just driving around to see if I can't find more deposits. Okay, I need to veer off slightly. Because, I mean, it's free money. No reason to leave it sitting around. In fact, I'm gonna go get this one before I drive off and I can't find it again. There it is. Awesome. Got more money for doing the bare minimum. Let's go. Beacon was a geff trap. Oh. Just run over it. Simple solutions. Still alive. How dare you? Alright, just this last one. Ok, 
Can we not do anything else with it? I guess not. It was just a trap. I wonder if that's what happened to the research team on the other planet. They just ran into a geff trap. Because of course they got stranded there by a signal jammer. Which leads to some interesting theories. Or at least thoughts. Not fully composed theories, but thoughts as to why the geff are setting up traps on different planets in the hopes of catching something in order to convert it to, I guess, a husk or a cybernetic. Is this what I'm after? There appears to be no one left in this camp. The generator is still functioning. But there are no signs of former occupants. The camp's computer notes several locations of interest. All right. Is there anything in here I would like to look at really quick? Okay, nothing to pick up, nothing to grab. Um, there's one more straight ahead. And then the debris is off to the side. But straight ahead is the final anomaly. Please don't get turned around. I see another deposit up ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Actually, I think the deposit's right next to the question mark. Yeah, it is. Appears this person was trying to mark the nearby mineral deposit and or died and died or was killed. By mercenaries or the geth. Awesome. Need to back up and get to the right. I definitely need to come through these little planets more thoroughly, just in case there's more than just deposits to be found here, because there are still a lot of little collectibles that are somewhere out in the galaxy that I would like to have. I don't know if it will actually do anything for me to collect all the Matriarch's writings, the Turian insignias, the Solarian ID tags. Get into Let me back in. Let me back in. Let me back in. Why are you everywhere? Don't you have like a habitat or something? The other planets you were on were like deserts. Don't like stupid giant worm. giant worm. Getting really tired of those stupid things. Alright, I think we're good here. Okay. Yeah, we can head out. And I will once again promise myself to come back here later. 
and do more exploration to find those deposits. How many planets are those Thresher Malls on anyway? I'm getting real tired of running into them. Alright, let's back out of here. Just back out of the whole system, really. Um, so, Gemini Sigma was going to be our next location, and then Rex's armor is going to be on Argus Row. Let's just go in order once again for the sake of my sanity. Ooh, this system is really pretty. It's all bright and colorful. Ooh, what are you? MS Worthington. Is a class module human design configured for mixed freight air passenger hauling. The ship appears to have been shut down. Main thrusters are cold. It's adrift in orbit. All right, let's see what that's about. Is it another hostage situation? Oh, let's bring Ash. Ash and Rex. Guess nobody's home. Someone shut this place down. Only basic life support is still running. Hmm. There's also some very interesting music playing in my ear that makes me think I should be watching my back. Somebody set that trap. The whole place could be wired. Alright, so I will avoid the things to blow up. I would like this. Oh, it blew up from the other side. Okay. There's someone, obviously there's someone else in here with me, but do I look for them here or continue forward? I'm just gonna head through this door because there's stuff marked up ahead. Just checking my back, making sure, up, oh, sir, you okay? You still alive? You don't look alive. That machine's keeping him alive. No brain activity. He's dead. Body's nothing but an empty shell. Um, let's leave this alone for now. Leave him alone until we know more about what's going on here. Aye, aye, Commander. Yeah, it's not my business to take him off life support to make that decision. He's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. All right. So I'm going to make an assumption that the reason Jacob is still in life support is because Julia possibly murdered the rest of the crew because I see not a single another person in sight, which means Julia is around here somewhere. Like I said, it's not really my business to, or it's not my right to take him off life support. They say Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore. And they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him, but it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless, so damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't. Okay. 
So she's in here and off her meds. But yeah, overall, I kind of do agree with Ash that that's no quality of life to be brain dead and just there existing but not really living. But considering Julia is the one who actually knew and care about this person, if t it's not my business to just straight up take him off life support. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. Mm. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... Oh! That red dot's moving in. Did you really just kill Ash? Okay. See, I knew you were in here, and I was willing to talk it out. But no, you just came in here guns a-blazing. It's probably because of her biotic implant. It probably drove her insane on top of everything else that was going on. But I'm gonna come back to this. Because if there's literally no one else here, and it was just Julia, I guess, taking care of his body, it would be even worse to leave him here on life support with no other human being or person here to take care of him. Yeah, we're just going to do it. the right thing, Commander. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jacob. I hope you can... Rest peacefully now. Because originally I was going to say if Julia is somewhat sound of mind and she just wants to drift off into space with her companion here, you know, it's not my business to get involved. But considering she tried to kill me first and now there's no one here to take care of Jacob, it would be even worse to just leave him here alone floating through space. Just a waste away. All right, well, that was sad. So hopefully we can move on to more lighthearted things than a crazed biotic and her brain dead friend. Um, let's check here. Check for anything that can be surveyed or landed upon. I also need to check that asteroid belt. Uh, scans. Titanium. Liga 1 medallion. And run along the asteroid belt. I guess there's nothing here. Unless I'm clearly missing something. Alright, nothing close to the sun. Nothing on the outer perimeter. Alright, that's just me at the Worthington. Okay, I think we're good here. So that was Ming. And now we have to make our way to Han. And this should be where one of Helena's other partners is. And then after that, we should get coordinates on where to meet Elena. Ooh, this planet has rings. But nothing on it. How disappointing. Uh, more matriarch writings. Okay, and we can land here. Level 2 cold hazard. So I will assume that this is possibly where the other crime lord is. to bring this time. I spend so much time bringing my aliens aboard that I almost feel like I need to give the humans a little more time. 
bring them on some more tasks and missions. Okay. You know what? Let's bring Garrus. Going back to the tried and true. Alright. First matter, map. I need to almost turn completely around and head straight to reach some debris. Please do not be any more at the Rusher Maws on this planet. I'm still trying to flip the Mako. Nope, it's not working. I can get it stuck, but I can't flip it. Probably if I read the codex, there's some explanation as to why the Mako was made and not flippable. But I did gloss over all the information about the Mako in the codex because I literally only looked at it to see that it's pronounced Mako and not Mako. That's all I wanted to know. The rest of the information about this vehicle can remain a mystery to me. All right, there's my debris. Can I scan this from the inside? No. Okay. I actually have to get out. It was worth a shot to see if I could scan things from inside the Mako. Taking all of that. It will be sorted through later. And... Okay, straight ahead is going to be, yep, the Syndicate hideout. We'll take out this last crime lord for Helena. Get the coordinates on where to meet her. Get paid. Hopefully not stabbed in the back, but also she's kind of showing her colors right here by paying us to go stab her former partners in the back. So I'm fully expecting to get portrayed. Is it on top of this? I'm going to assume so, because it looked that way on the map. So I'm going to try my luck with climbing it like this. Come on, don't do it. Don't fall. Don't fall. So close. Ooh, the moon looks pretty. Or that could be their sun. What do I know? Ooh, okay. Turrets. I was so focused on the moon slash sun that I didn't see the turrets. Where's the entrance? Okay, there it is. Alright, time to go clean up the galaxy by killing a crime lord. I'll take that. Kind of want my sniper. Please stop healing. Can I get him in the elbow? Another Krogan. No, die. So one of the
one of them still alive? No, this one over here is. Well, that did nothing for me. And there's one over here too. Both of them, no doubt Helena Blake, will be overjoyed to learn that these two scum are no longer a problem. Yeah, let's go get paid. Anything that can be picked up behind all of these boxes. I'll make a full loop in a second. Let's see what's in here first. Alright, it can go both ways. Take and take. Okay. Awesome, now just to check the other side and we should be good. What wear kit? I'll have to sort through sort through all that later. Do this just because I can. All right, I'm satisfied. Now to just make one quick loop around this room because I don't want to miss anything I could have picked up because of all the cover around here. Med kit, and I think we're good. Can I get past this way? Yeah. All right, I think there were only two things, points of interest on this planet. And of course, at some point I have to come back here and look at everything, but that is not a now problem. That is a situation for later. Okay, so we're good here, and I'll come back and check all of this and everything else on the planets at a later date. But I would like to get through checking the planets on this solar system, and then checking the Argus Row system, because that should be where Rex armor is. And I would like to get my boy his armor. He deserves it. And I really hope we get to fight his father, Jared. It just seems like the right thing to do. Okay, we got another mineral deposit. Standard gas, okay. Just make random zigzags, trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Anything near the sun? No. Okay. And I think that is it for Gemini Sigma. Seems like it. Okay, zoom out. And then let's go check out Argus Row. Ooh, very pretty. All right. Let's just make our rounds on this system as well. Scanning planets, landing if we can. Ooh, asteroid belts. I'll check in a second. Survey. I don't even know what that is, but it's a deposit. Okay. 
Make one little loop around this asteroid belt. Okay. Check whatever this is. Cobalt. Do another loop right here. Now I've come back for that planet. Okay. Guess we're good on that. Ooh. Room slow density. Okay. So we'll land here, and just in case this is where we need to be for Rex, we'll bring him along. Alright, Rex, and... Let's do Caden. Check the map. Okay, we got a hidden structure directly to my left, anomaly to the right, and debris up ahead. So let's check the hidden area. Oops. Fell in a hole, gotta get out of it. And I could be wrong, but that looks like an enemy beside where we want to go. Yeah, it definitely is as I'm getting closer. Can I land on them? Hi. You dead? They're dead. Buddy, let's go get it. Yeah, I was going to say, when are people going to pop out of me? Switch out. to the face and I would also like if you would just die come on ooh and that's the collector over there of Turian artifact not Turian. Um, Krogan. He's the Turian that collects Krogan artifacts. Ah. Oh, sorry, Rex. Gotta get around, you, buddy. more down here or are they above me? One of them's definitely above me. Okay, they're both above us. Hmm. 
One of them might be coming down. Oh, there he is. Is there one more? There should be. Or maybe not. Okay, no one else is showing up on the map, so I guess it's fine. Yep, looks like it's all clear. Okay, Rex, let's go find that armor. This is it. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap. But at least I've got it back. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Yeah, friendship. Rex touches his grandfather's armor, his expression thoughtful perhaps. Krogan are hard to read. He then shakes off his bemusement and grips his gun with renewed purpose. Alright, happy I could help our boy Rex. And now we just need to go help Garrus find this body snatcher that I'm very interested in meeting. Forget about this door at the end here. What is this supposed to be? Taking all of that. Or sort through it once we're done with this system as a whole. See if there's any more things I can sell. And then I just might buy myself a Spectre Sniper Rifle. I also need to get the armor at some point. Which is probably a better investment, but I really want that Sniper Rifle. Okay, what else was... Why is that still showing up as an exclamation point? I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so we got Anomaly and Debris, and they are more or less directly behind us. Can I get out this way? I'll attempt it. Flip, flip, flip. I guess I kind of count that as a flip. What's that? Floating in the sky. Or it went away now. Alright, there was definitely a black dot in the sky. And now it's gone. There's probably something all in this area. But if it's a Thresher Mall, I'm gonna be pissed. Is now my goal to avoid them? Not that they're difficult, I just hate them. Can I go up this way or do I have to go across the planes over there? The planes probably would have been better. I'm getting there, Joker. Calm down. If I remember correctly, I am the commander here. And the specter. Ooh, is that a pyramid? I would like to know. Roll! No. Yeah, it is a pyramid!
With enemies. No, that's just the red bar. Okay, that's just the barrier. There's something over here. Sorry, Captain. All right, we got more Matriarch's writings. Can I scan any more of this stuff? No. All right, to the pyramid. Can I go inside the pyramid? Because if not, that just sucks. No, I don't think I can. That's upsetting. I would have wanted to go in the pyramid. You know what? It's okay. Maybe next time we find a pyramid, we'll be able to go inside. I'm definitely skirting the edge of the barrier there. I probably need to head back in. And there's a deposit on the map that I would like to have. Come on, Mako, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, we're good. I always get surprised when we catch airtime. Because I know now that basically nothing can bother the Mako. 13,000 credits, I will take it. And I'm still in the right direction. I think it's probably over that last cliff there. Or close enough. Nope, don't get turned around. Almost there. All right, perfect landing. I think that's the third time this episode. All right. And I do believe that was everything for this planet. Okay. Yeah, it was. Besides the fact that this is still a little plot point rather than one of these X's. All right then. Back to the Normandy we go. Check out the rest of this system and then I'll head over to the next one. And also, in the next episode, we probably should be heading back to the Citadel because we have a lot of bad news to relay to several different people. Pretty sure I've checked all of these, but let me just assure that I'm not missing anything. So yeah, we need to head back to the Citadel because we got several key characters to talk to. I finally know where that secondary nightclub is that I've been wanting to go to. So we have to do that because that might be where my last three keepers are. And I am determined to learn the secret of the Keepers. In all actuality, the Keepers are probably harmless and we've just been manipulated into doing something by Shorbin. Message coming in. Patching it through. General distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Cargo 
Alright. Let's go save ourselves a medical team. But yeah, we've probably just been manipulated and scanning the keepers by Shorbin. But as long as he gives me actual answers to why the keepers just take care of the Citadel. Who do I want with me? I'll take Kaden and... Do I want to bring Tali? Or do I want to bring Tali and leave? That gives me no biotic strength though. You know what? Let's just give it a try. We'll just give it a go without the biotics for this round. Because I understand from dialogue and from the codex that the keepers were on the citadel before anyone else was even there. And plus, I think it's mentioned in the codex that more than likely they were just made inside the deepest part of the citadel where no one else can go because it's like a lockdown and no one else can get there. So did the Protheans just make them to take care of the citadel? Because the Protheans made the citadel. So did they also just decide to make an IT team to take care of it? Because if so, that's ingenious. But I will continue to distrust the keepers until told otherwise. This way. Looks like the signal's coming from that wreckage. Careful, Commander. Yes. It's a trap. It's always a trap. Okay. Let's keep on moving. Oh, hello. Didn't see you guys there. Okay. So that was a trap. Okay. So is it directly behind me? Yeah, okay, I need to make a turn. So I'm guessing the distress call, they were probably pulled in by something else that the Geth put to trap more people to make more husk. Because that seems to be a reoccurring thing. Still right direction? No. But I am going in the direction of the debris, so I'll just stay on this path for now. I really wish you could upgrade the Mako. I know I've already said that before, but every time I have to drive it, I think of all the changes I would like to make to it. Let's get in here. Is this going to be another trap? Not a trap. And map, I need to take a hard left. A hard right. Can I? Can I do it? No. Alright, let's back up and try from a different angle. Alright, that's definitely going to be the best way to go. I'm also really happy the Mako is as durable as it is. 
I know I joke that I really want to flip it, but I'm really happy that it can't actually get stuck in very many places. Except for that one time I got it stuck in Ovaria, but I think that was a glitch more than anything. Right direction. Yes, okay, it's pretty much directly ahead. Okay, there it is on the map now. Keep going. Keep pushing. Did they all die? Turian corpse. Uh, another Turian insignia. I'm so dumb. The distress call was the trap, wasn't it? Because I was sitting there thinking, okay, well, what happened to the team? But obviously, it was probably just another trap. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, we got lured here by a trap, which probably happens very often. Which holds up to my theory, and it's not an actual theory, because we know it's happening, that the Geth are trying to lure people in, in order to make husk. I don't know what the benefit to that would be other than to add more numbers. But can't the Geth just like make more of their own? Cause they are machines. So can they just not make more? I don't know. We'll find out later. It's probably an important point at some time or another, probably when we get back to the main story. But for now, did I scan every planet in this system? Let me check. All right, that's another Turian insignia. I've already looked at this planet, I do believe. Okay, I think that's it for Hydra. Yes, because I've already seen this planet. All right, so we're good for the Argus Row system. And when we come back, definitely gonna have to hit the Voyager cluster. Armstrong Nebula. Okay. We'll either do another cluster and look around there for more stuff to do. Actually, where's Kepler at? Hakinita. Kepler Verge. Okay, Kepler Verge is going to be where the Solarian Doctor who has to get to safety and the Solarian Doctor who's also harvesting organs are. So I am wondering if they're one and the same but I would like to get to the Kepler Verge sooner than later, so that might be a next episode thing. And also, we will immediately pick back off. Actually, let's go ahead and head in this direction because there are a lot of little things that have to be cleared up on the Citadel, bad news we have to share, probably more people to talk to. So let's go ahead and head towards the Citadel. And I will leave us off right here, and when we pick back up, We'll land, we'll do everything we need to do. We'll go to that nightclub that I've been wanting to check out. See if there's any more keepers there. See if there's any more side missions to pick up on the Citadel. And then we'll get back to exploration, probably in Kepler, because I do want to go ahead and get to Garrus's side mission, because I think it's going to be one of the more interesting ones. So that is the plan for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope that you will join me again for the next episode. So I hope to see you guys later. Bye-bye.